make during Eid Mubarak to stick on your doors or anywhere. So yeah, let's get started. So first what we're going to be making is a Ramallah, I mean Eid Mubarak sign. So yeah, let's get started. First, I'm going to take a color paper. You, you can take two color papers. I'm taking one A4 and one green sheet. Just take that and then uh, put it aside. Then uh, you need a ruler and some colors. So yeah, let's get started. So guys, first we'll take our A4 and then just fold it up like this. So, yeah, hold it and then, then take our scissors, we also need scissors and uh, we just fold it like that, so yeah, just cut it along the edge, like that, just cut a fat, you need a fat outer covering, so yeah. And you need this to be neat too because they're gonna be using the other parts. They're not gonna be throwing anything. And then from this side, as you can see, my brother on the other hand is playing with the ruler. So yeah, you need something like this so that you can open it. Then just keep this part aside. So once you've got this, just put that aside and then take the green paper like we took before. Then I have set some glue here. Just cover the outer bordering with glue. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing it. Take our rectangular thing back and then try to place it on the glued part that we just made. Try to place it on the glued part carefully by the way you have to make sure your color paper is one of one of them is smaller than the other one so I'm gonna shape it out so yeah, after that you should have something like this Okay, so guys, while we wait for this to dry up, remember that piece we cut off from the normal A4 size? We are gonna be coloring that with color pencils just to make it very colorful. And then we'll be writing Eid Mubarak with a pen in very good style and all. So yeah, we'll see you after that process. Okay guys, now I have completed my Eid Mubarak sign. As you can see, it is very colorful. Make it as colorful as possible because you need it to stand out a lot. So then we go back to this. So this you can see that the border is too thick. So you can just cut off a little bit of a border just to make it perfect. right now so yeah I'm doing this and Edu bar then I'll just put it here and then as you can see my Edu bar this paper which we have right here has to be smaller than the inside part like the inside green part so yeah I've made it small by cutting it off a little bit as you can see it has to fit inside there so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on so yeah okay i've glued it on this is how it looks now we can add some decorations on this like on the green part you can just add any like decorations so i'm gonna just add some 
like i'm going to take this paper uh, like and then make some stickers with it and then just stick it on so yeah so guys i've got a long strip of paper here i'm going to show you how i'm going to make uh, the stickers so yeah just you need to make one long thing over here because it's going to be hanging down from that and then i'm going to draw some lanterns mm-hmm. that would be a good lantern and then so yeah i'm going to make a couple of these and then i'll show you afterwards so guys i have made two stickers now i'm only using two stickers as you can see one is a moon it has to have that thing on the top remember one is a moon and one is a lantern you can see that right a lantern and a moon so yeah i'm going to start sticking these to the iruba so yeah i'm going to start sticking and this is why this part which i told you to make on the top this part on the back side of it you have to put glue you should not put glue on the moon so yeah i'll show you how what i can do and as you can see i'm going to take the back side of that and i'll put glue on that part only and then i'll just stick the moon somewhere around here yeah i'll stick the moon as you can see now the moon has a 3d effect since it will come out it will be popping out so yeah that's a moon then i'm going to stick my lantern somewhere around here so that it looks cool and then i'll also be putting stars so yeah let me just put the lantern on also has a 3d effect and then what you have to do is take a white now and you need the stars for the moon so i'm just going to put some dots so dots for the stars white now is always white so yeah it looks like stars so yeah there it looks like stars and the lantern so guys our banner is ready as you can see everything has a 3d effect to it looks nice is mobile looks nice it even has a border around it so yeah now i'm going to be sticking it to my door and i'll show you how it is, how it looks on my door After we folding, uh, I'm gonna let my brother cut the things. Okay, so I'm gonna be cutting the lantern for him. So what we have to do is, you can draw a line over here with a pencil. It has to be erasable. Uh, a line over here with a pencil, and then just start cutting it like this. So as you can see, I'm cutting it. But the thing is, you can't cut it fully. You have to cut it until that line. Okay? Don't cut it fully. Just leave it like that. So yeah, don't cut it fully. It should not fall off. It should be able to just stand like that. So we should just start doing it all over, like till here. So yeah, make it a little thin, not that thin, little thin. I mean, like. there has to be at least 1 cm space between all of them so yeah as you can see i left this much place this much place between both of them so we just start cutting cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting so yeah we we'll see you after that process so as you can see now i have cut it fully like as you can see there are many uh, cuts in the middle so here comes an interesting part Now you remember that we folded it, right? Remember that fold? Just open that fold. Now look at this. You should have something looking like this, which has a lot of holes in the middle. Now here comes the important part of our lantern. As you can see, it will be folded onto one side. Just just 
start folding it like this like just go ahead and fold it like that and then like roll it up and then put it there remember the fold that you did like this the fold that you did like this it should always be on this side that you roll it you can't just like once you fold it this side you can't roll it that side you have to always roll it this side so yeah we're going to roll it up and then what we have to do is put some glue on the last line and then glue it like this so that mm, it becomes a round shape and then for uh, guidance you can see that line that we made there just match both of the papers lines like this so that you should have something like this so yeah i'm going to stick it up so now guys we have our lantern now we have to put a handle on top so i'm going to take one more paper or you could just do something you could just keep it there on your table or something but we are going to be hanging it somewhere so i'm going to make a handle for it so i'll be showing you how to make it so guys i'm going to show you taking a basic a4 or anything you can take a color paper if you want but i'm taking a regular a4 and then just cut a tiny piece off so i'm just going to use my scissors and just cut it off okay make sure it's in one straight line or else it won't look that good so yeah so yeah. then you should have something like this take your glue stick it on either sides or some of stick on it on this side by just pressing it there okay i think that side is stick and then the other side i'm going to take more glue and then put on this side oh wow so it's going to stick it on both sides have to hold it i forgot wait for it to dry and then here is our handle now you can always hang, uh, hang it anywhere you want or any time anywhere you want you can ha- hang this so yeah that's our lantern we we'll show you by hanging it on our door i draw this too